Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Brugly channel. Yes, you actually read the title right. Uh, I'm doing a Backrooms Iceberg for the next couple of uploads because Brugly Summer Spectacular is starting a week from today, so I figured I'd upload this iceberg right before it so I could get everybody in the mood for some more Backrooms content, right? If you're new here, I'm Brugly. Nice to meet you. I'm a Backrooms YouTuber, and that's all you need to know. So this will be a three or four part iceberg, probably four since I don't like to make my videos too long. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the first two tiers of the iceberg. This specific one is the newest iceberg I could find over on Reddit, so there shouldn't be any other videos on it that I'm aware of, but yeah. Sit back, chillax, grab some cookie dough bites, some popcorn, some candy and get ready for the first two tiers of the Backrooms Iceberg. Let's get into it, shall we? So this is the iceberg that I'm gonna be going over. If you wanna check it out yourself, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And I think it's got the perfect balance of known stuff and unknown stuff, and it just it's the perfect one that I found. Now the first several entries are pretty basic, so I'm not going to go in depth like a crazy person would, but I am going to start with the first entry, which is level zero. Backrooms level zero is easily the most famous Backrooms level on all of the wikis and in general. You've probably seen the picture of it. If you haven't, I'd like to know what rock you've been living under so I can test it out myself. And you probably at least have some idea of what it is but it is the first Backrooms level, and it was posted on 4chan many years ago. It's really the picture that kickstarted the entire Backrooms lore, so I appreciate it for that. Pretty much, if you don't know, it's an infinite hellscape of yellow walls, annoying lights that are buzzing, and soaking wet carpet. Now, for a lot of these things on the iceberg, I have made full videos about them, explaining them, and I'm gonna leave a link to all of them that I go over in the description. But what I just said about level zero is pretty much the entirety of the level. You get the gist of it. Lights buzzing is next up, and it's also a pretty basic one. It's about the fluorescent lights in level zero, and actually some other levels of the backrooms as well, that have this really annoying buzz to them, man. I mean, it would drive me insane. To me, it just adds this horror factor that it would just drive me insane. And just knowing that there's constant buzzing, it just makes you feel more alone, in my opinion. But yeah, that's what light buzzing means. Before the video gets started, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Gemstone Legends. Gemstone Legends is an awesome fantasy puzzle RPG game where you match gems together in order to upgrade and enhance your team of heroes in order to defeat enemies and stop the cataclysm. What's great about Gemstone Legends is that it isn't just your typical matching game. You can level up your team of heroes in order to collect artifacts and upgrade statistics and in order to form the strongest team possible. And to me, upgrading your stats and finding new artifacts really enriches the gameplay experience and makes the game extremely addictive to play. Also, the game has dragons. But don't just take my word for it, Gemstone Legends has a 4.6 star rating on the Android Play Store and almost a perfect 5 star rating on the App Store. Speaking of playing the game, you can find me in-game under the name Brugly, if you want to get destroyed, that is. So with all that said, you can download Gemstone Legends using the first link in the description below, or you can scan the nifty QR code right here in the video. And by doing that, new players will automatically get a super bonus pack, and the pack contains a really cool hero named Moralia. And you'll get this pack once you open the game and complete the tutorial. So download the game with my link below or scan the QR code, and by doing so, you'll have an awesome game to play, and you'll be supporting the Brugly channel. It's a win-win, what can I say? Thank you to Gemstone Legends for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it, shall we? 4chan is the next entry, and it's referring to the original Backrooms picture and post, which was posted on 4chan back in 2018. This is the earliest screenshot of the entry I could find. There might have been one before, but this is the earliest one I could find. It was originally just posted as a creepy liminal space picture that doesn't feel quite right, is the title. And it just feels off, but we've now seen what it has grown into, and I'm super happy it did. The next entry is no clipping, which is the process of glitching through an object in real life. 
Now you've actually probably done this before in video games where you can see through a map by glitching into the side of a wall or through the floor and you can kind of just see through the rest of the map. But no clipping in this regard refers to the main way of traveling inside of the backroom's lore. To the different levels. If you want to get to a level that's after level zero, you're going to have to no clip through a wall in level zero. And by doing that, you'll be sent through a space time wormhole to the next level. Now, no clipping can do much more powerful things than this. Like you can just pass up a hundred levels at once if you know what a no clip. But yeah, it's just pretty much just glitching through something to get to a different place. Liminal spaces are spaces that are not meant to be stayed in for a long time. In fact, it quite literally means transitional space, but of course, you probably knew that. There's probably been 800 people that have said that. And this phenomenon of liminal spaces tends to make pictures of these places extremely creepy, almost like you shouldn't be seeing it. And this translates to many of the backrooms levels because the majority of them are considered liminal spaces. Spaces that you feel are just wrong to look at, like this picture for example. You know, it just feels unnatural in a way, unnerving in a way. Of course, you know, it's all relative, and you could be thinking to yourself right now, how stupid is this guy? This is just a normal picture. But like I said, it all depends on what angle you take it from. But liminal spaces in and of themselves are a horror-ish genre, but couple them with the idea of the back rooms and being alone by yourself in an unknown universe, and you've got a pretty scary concept. The back rooms causes insanity is the next entry, and I think it's literally just talking about the fact that back rooms causes people to go insane while they're stuck there. Which is understandable because you're going to be stuck alone in a place that you've never been to, with no food, water, and weird noises coming from everywhere. I think I'd go insane too. I'm pretty sure the name of this entry explains it. The backrooms causes insanity, because it does. The last part of tier one is the backrooms subreddits, which of course is talking about the Reddit page for the backrooms. There's lots of unofficial ones, but this one is talking about the biggest one, it's got over 185,000 members on it, and there's a lot of neat stuff that goes up over there. But it's mainly just funny memes, and I'm gonna be honest with you, they're pretty funny, not gonna lie. But yeah, if you want to explore some more of the fan-submitted kind of stuff, go check out the Backroom subreddit. It's an interesting read, to say the least. Now it's tier 2 time, starting with the first 9 levels. It's talking about the first 9 levels in the backroom's lore. Technically, it's 8 levels, since level 0 also counts as a level, but... Level 0, the tutorial zone. Level 1, the habitable zone. Level 2, pipe dreams. Level 3, electrical station. Level 4, abandoned office. Level 5, terror hotel. Level 6, lights out. Level 7, Thalassophobia, and Level 8, the cave system. Now, some people only count these first nine or so as the actual real backrooms levels, the real canon. But as I've said before, there isn't a concrete canon, which makes it interesting. You know, you get everybody's opinion. I've made individual videos explaining these first nine levels in depth, but if you're lazy like I am and you don't want to go find them on the channel, I'm just going to speed run through explanations of them now. Level zero has yellow walls and buzzing lights and wet carpet, and it's the first one you're typically going to no clip to, from reality that is. Level one is a parking garage with no outside contact, wet puddles, and it has the first few outposts in the back rooms. Level 2 is full of dangerous hallways with creatures running around all the time and loud noises coming from machinery. Level 3 is also a dangerous hallway level, but this time there's prison barred off passages that you can't get to, and there's also electrical monitoring rooms. Level 4 is a huge office building, and it's the home of the first almond water source in the back rooms, which you'll figure out in a second is a huge part of it. Level 5 is a hotel with a real business running inside of it. It's decorated with a old era decoration style, and it's actually scary because the beast of level 5 lurks around. But yeah, it's pretty much a hotel. Level 6 is a series of blacked out maze-like hallways with unknown dangers walking around. Quite literally, that's it. It's one of the shortest entries in the wiki dot. Level 7 is a level about an ocean with carpet at the bottom. There's a bunch of skeletons floating around the water, and there's some pretty gnarly creatures that live there. 
And level 8 is a series of cave networks that are home to huge spiders and some old, unknown, ancient cave dwelling people. Yeah, that's the speedrunning explanation of the first 9 levels. I've gone over all of them in much more depth than that if you want to check them out, but these are just the basics. Brugley's basics. Next on the iceberg is, uh, me. Brugley. Hi! I make Backrooms videos, been doing it for 7 months now, I upload every other day, and I run a second channel that you should totally check out. It's called Toogly, and I think you'd like it. Shameless plugging aside though, I love doing Backrooms videos, I'm Brugley. Next on the iceberg is Mr. Ferrante, who is another Backrooms YouTuber, who started I think a year or so before I did. He mainly focuses on the Liminal Archives website for his information, whereas I focus on the Backrooms wiki dot, and yeah. The Backrooms fandom is the next entry, and I think it's talking about the fandom wiki, actually I know what it is, which is another huge source of information for Backroom stuff. The fandom wiki, I would say, is more easily accessible and easier to get articles on than the other wikis, and I myself have covered multiple levels from over there. It's a pretty fun time to read through the levels, because you never know what you're gonna get, you know? You could have a masterpiece of a written level, and you could have a goofy level. That kinda adds to the fun of it, you know? But it and the Backrooms wiki dots are typically the two biggest Backrooms info sources on the internet, and the Liminal Archives is right behind them. Almond water is the next entry, and it's the most widely available drink inside of the backrooms. As with most of the stuff on this iceberg, I've covered it in a video of its own, but the condensed version is pretty simple. It's a drink that helps people stay sane inside of the backrooms, because the backrooms drains your sanity, and the last thing you want to be is a lunatic who's crazy running around the backrooms. You gotta keep your sanity somehow, and this drink will do it for you. It's typically available in weird ways, and it's not available on every level, but sometimes it can be coming out of pipes, or it can be an entire lake full of almond water. You never know, and it's really a mystery throughout the backrooms of how it got there, and it's pretty much the one thing that's constant throughout all the backrooms levels. It's also a drink in real life. Never tried it myself, since they don't sell it here in the States much, but if you have tried it, let me know what you think of it. I'm interested. Kane Pixels is up next, and I'm sure everyone watching this video has seen his viral Backrooms found footage videos. He started uploading them back in January, and they were an instant classic amongst many Backrooms fans. He gained over like 600k subscribers in two months, and has gotten like 30 million views on his found footage videos, and his work itself has spawned a bunch of other YouTubers to make their own found footage videos which I'll talk about in the next episode of the Iceberg video, because it's an entry in and of itself. Kane's doing his own thing, he's making his own canon, it's working for him. The Backrooms Wikidot is next, and it's the website that I get all my video ideas from. Well, mostly. It's got a more professional layout, and is considered the go-to website for some people for their Backrooms lore. Now, not all the people go here, some go to the fandom or liminal archives, but a good majority of people come here. It was started a couple years ago, and it has events that happen, it has Discord stuff, it has, you know, a pretty good balance of community stuff and professionally written stuff. It's got good info, it's got goofiness. It's the most well-rounded website, in my opinion. The last entry for today is Entities, and this is talking about the entities and creatures that have been written into the Backrooms lore. Some people love the Entities. Some people don't. I like them sometimes, just in specific quantities, and it just depends on context, you know? The Wikidot and fandom websites have entire sections dedicated to entities, with biographies and explanations and pictures and drawings of each one, and they can range from robots to huge zombies to cats that can talk. There's literally no limit, which is a good and bad thing. But I have an entire YouTube Shorts series about the entities in the back rooms, so if you want to check that out, there's like 30 of them up. I'll leave the playlist below. But I like jump scaring people with entities sometimes, so. That was part one of the Backrooms Iceberg. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can't tell, I do my icebergs a little bit differently than most. I kind of give the topic a basic description with just enough info to where you kind of understand it without getting into the boring details. I know not everyone likes that, but I do, so I hope you do too. Also, few people know this, but the first videos on my channel were iceberg videos. I did a liminal space iceberg, I did a cryptids iceberg, and that's what got me 
to my first 500 subscribers. Thank you for watching to the end of the video, and thank you to Gemstone Legends for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check them out below with the QR code or the link in the description and the pinned comment if you want to support the channel and have a fun game to play at the same time. If you're still watching, you're a real one. Comment Nicebergs. If you comment that, I'm going to throw a heart at your comment because you'll have watched through this entire video, and I appreciate you for that. Like I said at the beginning, the Brugley Summer Spectacular is less than a week away. Hope you're excited for it, guys. It's going to be awesome. Turn those noties on so you don't miss the daily videos. I'm super hyped for you guys to see them. The channel's about to go crazy. But with all that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace!